Forgive me. It was just one night and it meant nothing. I don't to care me. about the wheelchair, I Susan. Oh, Mark. All I care about is if you. I was lost to hear this. Plagued by spots and pimples. Led clear of the wheelchair. It's all just so dim, it's dark. And some hunks where he came from. Try to avoid those petty arguments, girl. Right, the pattern's a problem, eh? Not so Is there something so wrong with me? Oh, by the way, I've spoken to my father and apparently they've got a big do plan for when they hand the cheque over. The local press have been invited. That's great! The more publicity, the better, eh? She's pretty good, isn't she? I never thought she'd actually go along with it. Never mind do as well as that. She'll have to watch her, though. She's got her head stuck in the clouds half the time, that one. Mm. Thanks. Mandy, Michael and I are going up to town on Saturday night to the Blurt gig. That's coming along. As it happens, I've got a date. Who is? Oh, a little green lady down here. Hang on. Who? Come on. You better go. Huh. First time out with a boy, isn't it? So? So, good luck to you. You've been daydreaming about it long enough. Maybe it's time you put it to the test. Test? Well, that's what a first date's all about. Testing each other out. Seeing how far you can go. I first met Terry when I was 17 at a Christmas party. He asked me to dance, and that was it. He didn't lay a finger on me either. Never even touched me. I was beginning to think there's something wrong with me. Then the next night, when he took me home, he kissed me. Oh, I'd never been kissed like that before. I didn't know whether to stay put and enjoy it or run for my life. Well, what did you do? I stayed put, didn't I? Maybe I should have cut and run while I had the chance. Sorry, it was an ad I wanted to tear out. Would you have to take half the sports page with it? Sorry. What sort of an ad, anyway? It was for John. This is a secretarial job down at Gibson's Engineering, part time. Well, who's this job supposed to be for? It's for me. Well, why not? I mean, with you and the children out all day, I could fill my time in somehow. 
an interview tomorrow, actually. Mm -hmm. I suppose you'd have told me about it then, would you? I'm telling you about it now. Well, it's somewhat after the event, isn't it? But I suppose I should be used to my family keeping me in the dark by now. Frank, you don't mind me taking a job, no, surely? No. It'll make you happy. It won't. It might perhaps make me feel useful. Oh, no, don't. Let's go for that one again. And when you are, you just dismiss them. I don't want to see you dismissed, do I? I mean, you haven't worked for well, 19 years, is it? You're out of touch. I'm sorry for which they want somebody young for the job, won't they? Oh, thanks for that. Now, look, confidence. if you want to go out into the world, you'll have to learn how to take the knocks along with the rest of us. Seems I can get quite enough of those without stepping outside my own front door. Tomorrow. It's 4.30, why? Oh, come along if you like. After school. A bit of moral support. Oh, I'd like that very much, Amanda. Thank you. Be a giggle, though. They're not if we get cool. You worry too much. Well, look, we'll need a lot of paint, though, because it's a very big wall. Another window. Taken care of. Uh -huh. Look, look at Touching this. the old black, oh, eh? Oh, oh. Tasty. Tasty. Oh, it's tasty. I'm stating the point, this. I don't at all. There is no point. It's a laugh, right? A thrill. Something to do on a Saturday night. Any objections? Well, look, Ross. I mean, it will have to be after dark, though. Yes, we'll we'll be on the same side. Hold your hand. You're in a what? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's a bunch. Come on, man. It's alright. Come on, girl. I don't see you doing Uh, you got my note then? Yeah. And it's all right, is it? For Saturday? Fine. Mashy. Right then. Where are we going to go? Where you like. Um, how about the cinema? Great. Lovely. Right then. I'll, um, I'll find out what's on. You know, um, see what we fancy. Um, pick you off about seven, okay? Okay. Right then. Quite nervous. Silly, isn't it? Why do you suddenly want to get a job, Mum? Do we need the money? Come in handy, wouldn't it? Oh, better get a move on. Won't do much my chance if I'm late. Oh. I got through my calls early. Uh, off for the interview, are you? That's the idea, yes. There's um, something to help you on your way. Oh, 
Yeah, you go easy, all you will asphyxiate them. <laughs> Can't help but get the job now, can I? It'll be a pushover. Right, Amanda? Right. Sixty-two. Yes. I've been bringing up my family, you see. Oh, Pete, this is the happiest day of my life. I was afraid you might have regrets giving up your job as an air hostess. All that travel and excitement. I can get all the excitement I need at home, can't I? Besides, I've got a job now, haven't I? The only one I'll ever need. The typing test. Company policy. Shall we get started? A little copy typing, I think. Just copy out what's written there. Thank you. Most companies are electric nowadays. Thank you. Get you ready for your tea. At least I don't have to take a test to do that. Did you enjoy the film? It was so romantic. Wasn't it? Mind you. Real life can be pretty romantic as well. Just these last sections here, and we're hung and dry. Do you reckon we'll get it finished in time? We have to. We're all right, idiots, if we don't. Hmm. It's a pretty pathetic turnout, isn't it? Well, it's Saturday, isn't it? Everyone's making plans for tonight. What kept you? I got held up. 
Um, yeah, listen, fellas, uh, you better cut me out tonight. Oh. Hey? Yeah, only I'm busy. Oh, sure. We get a message. I am. I've got a... I've got something on. Look, I can't break it, even if I wanted to. Which you don't want to, right? blusher hmm? and remember take advice from an old hand it's not what you say it's how you look that's what counts so don't try and impress him with your mind no clever stuff right just agree with whatever he says and look pretty it's the only way believe me what's that yep just give me a jacket Hello, Mum. Hello. Not too late, remember, Michael? Well, about midnight, all right? Oh, right. What time's your check-in? 7.30. Bye. Bye, Polly. Take care, you two. Come on, now. It'll work out for you, too. How about some more lip gloss while you're at it? Saturday nights used to be the highlight of our week, remember? I was thinking the same thing. You don't regret any of it, do you? What? You know, getting lumbered like we did. I wish we thought about it a bit more. Well, about what was involved. I mean, a year ago we'd been getting ready to go out ourselves, wouldn't we? We'll have fun again. You'll see. You know. It's okay. Right. What's he like? No, he's surprisingly presentable. Let's hope he doesn't get any ideas. Or dressed the way she is, what lad wouldn't? What do you want to do? I thought you said the pictures. You said you'd find out yeah, what's on. Yeah, well, we'll take a look, shall we? See what's on. Gary! I thought we were going to the pictures. We are. Well, it's over there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Right. Nice. It's been a long way. It seems like you to make this first aid. So while the tears Fly fishing's the best. 
because that's, that's where the real skill is. You have to have um, decent equipment, you know, a rod and that. And, and nowhere to go, because some places are useless, you know, too much pollution. Not to mention the boats. Fighting the fish off before you've even seen them. Yeah, if it'd been a contest, I would have walked it. No problem. Did not pop a fight as I reeled it in. And the weight of it. You should have seen it. It was at least I'm cold. Sorry? I'm hungry. No hurry, is there? Not if you want to freeze to death. Put my jacket, if you like. Sorry. Are you okay? Just about. Warm me up. A bit. Thanks. Warm me up too, don't I? Gary! Don't worry. No! There's no need to make a great scene out of it. I thought we were going somewhere nice. It's a freeze out here all evening. If I'd have coughed up on some cinema tickets, it would have been all right, wouldn't it? That is not what I said. Amanda, cool it. He only wants to be friendly, doesn't he? After all, you don't want your best friend and brother outshining you, do you? Hmm? What? I think I'd better go. It's early yet. Sorry. I think it's dead. I just don't know how you could. Before even knowing someone. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I don't. It's a way of getting to know someone, isn't it? There are other ways too, aren't there? this one will she and gary ever get it together is her friendship with polly really on the rocks to be continued <laughs>